What's going on guys? Tmart here and today I'm bringing you guys our episode of Call of Duty Ghost Gun Review. In this series we go through all the guns in Ghost, breaking them down, giving you guys the most important stats and opinions to help you do better in Call of Duty in 3 minutes or less. So you guys ready? Today we're taking a look at the SA-805 Assault Rifle. Here we go. Now starting off with the iron sights, they're these weird three-tiered sights with like a full circle covering a trident in the middle. Like it's, it's really crazy, it's really bulky, and I don't really like them all that much. They aren't the worst in the game but they really aren't that effective like they're kind of open towards the top but it's really easy to lose enemies once it kicks up you can lose them in the stuff down low because it blocks so much of your vision so I don't really like them that much typically I will run some sort of optic on this weapon but that's just my personal preference you guys can do what you like now as for damage for this weapon it's actually pretty good it does 40 damage up close and 25 at a distance meaning you kill in three to four shots no matter where you are on the map and it's very very consistent sometimes you even get two shot kills if you get headshots but uh, anyway so the damage is nothing really all that special like there are plenty of assault rifles that have more damage than this weapon but where it stands out is its range as I said it's a very very consistent killing weapon it's a three shot kill all the way out to 32 meters which is insane you won't get in many gunfights that are longer than that so that really gives this weapon a big advantage in those medium to long range engagements so it's just it's a very consistent killing weapon and it always gets the job done. It's a jack of all trades. Now, moving on as for the rate of fire, it's got a 769 <laughs> RPM, which is uh, which is uh, slightly above average than most of the other assault rifles. So uh, you know it's nothing insane, but it does shoot more bullets downrange than a lot of other ones do. Which you know, of course, that's important and doing the most damage to the enemy. So that really helps you out in gunfights and stuff. Uh, next up, moving on to the recoil. This is where this weapon lacks the most. You know, it's got a good damage. It's got a great range. It's got a pretty good rate of fire. But the recoil is not that great. I'm going to put it medium at best. Sometimes it may even be high. It's got a really weird pattern where it kind of goes up and to the right. Whereas most other assault rifles mainly go up and to the right and left. So it's a little bit hard to control sometimes. But it's not impossible. You just have to get used to it. You have to practice with it. And eventually you'll get it down. Burst firing is very effective. As for the magazine size, it's standard 30, 45 with extended mags. Reload speed is slightly slower than normal for assault rifles at 3.76 seconds with an empty mag or 2.7 six seconds with at least one bullet left in your mag. Uh, as for recommended attachments, like I said, I like some sort of sight. Red dot's my favorite. Grip helps with the recoil. Muzzle brake can make your range even longer. And then silencer is actually pretty good. I don't like the silencers on many assault rifles, but it's pretty good on this weapon because the range is so good. For perks, I really like focus and stalker on this gun. Not only are they good on all ARs, but especially on this one because the recoil can get out of hand quickly. So focus and stalker will help you with that and make sure you're always aiming down sight ready to shoot and then other typical perks can include ready up slide of hand and quick draw so uh, there you guys have it we just barely made it in there in the three minute mark this uh, this gun's pretty good I don't think it's the best rifle in the class but it is a very good rifle that's good for most ranges and it will outgun a lot of its competitors in that medium to long range engagement distance so I uh, tried out let me know what you think what do you like on this weapon leave comments down below try out my class setup and you know come back and let me know how you did and thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you guys later Check out one of the other two videos if you haven't seen yet. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace out, guys.